Bayonetta is a game of contradictions. A great game, yet annoying. Brilliant to play, but incredibly frustrating. Great to look at, while at times muddy and bland. Can crush your spirit, yet give huge dollops of euphoria. It is a game that requires commitment, technique, reactions, skill, the ability to adapt, to learn, and problem solve on the fly. The game may be rife with dichotomy, but is it worth your time and your hard-earned cash? Bayonetta was first released in 2010, for the seventh generation of consoles. Four years later, it was brought over to the Wii U, and now eight years later, the game is arriving on Switch as part of a double pack with the game's sequel. If you've already played the game on a previous system, you'll know what to expect. If you're coming to the series for the first time, Bayonetta is a hack and slash action adventure game from Platinum Games. You play as the eponymous witch who, while traveling through Vigrid, a fictional city in Europe, starts to remember parts of her past that she's forgotten after an incident that left her with memory loss. She comes across a young child and a man called Luca who, well, look, let's be honest, you aren't going to play this game for the story. Yes, there is a story, but it is incredibly convoluted, complex and confusing. What this game is about is fast, fluid combat, where you take down hundreds of enemies, some as big as buildings. Fortunately, the combat is where this game shines. Coming from the director of Devil May Cry, you can clearly see the influence here. Combos are the order of the day, with attacks consisting of punches, kicks and gunplay. There's a lot of variety to be had as you blend these three different attacks. Performing longer combos will result in a supernatural attack called a Wicked Weave. These moves are particularly powerful and will be felt by even the largest of enemies. Land enough hits on your foes without taking any damage yourself and you'll build up your magic power. Once you fill your magic power gauge, you can unleash a torture attack, which is even more powerful and will annihilate all but the biggest of enemies. As important as the attacks are, the other major part of combat is dodging. Dodging is not just used to get out of the way of an enemy strike, but timed correctly, it can turn defense into powerful attacks. If you dodge at the last second, you will enter witch time, which slows everything down except for you, allowing for some serious damage to be dealt with very low risk to yourself. This move comes with a huge risk-reward factor. Dodge too late and the enemy will hit you. Move too early and you won't activate witch time. It takes some time to really get the hang of, but becomes an essential tool in your armory as enemies become more plentiful and powerful. Speaking of enemies, this is an area where the game excels. The art design and imagination that has gone into your various foes is top-notch. The variety is also to be applauded, as the different enemies are easy to differentiate, something that is essential when they all require different tactics to defeat. While all the character models are particularly well designed and look great, the same can't be said for all of the environments. There is a nice array of different locations, but some of them look a little dreary and bland. Some of this is done to provide a nice juxtaposition between the heavenly locales you encounter and the fictional European city you find yourself in. However, drab grey walls and low-textured brown dirt is just a bit boring. There's quite a lot of content here for your money. Levels are designed for you to run through them several times as you hunt for different collectibles, areas and more enemies to annihilate. The game is very hard, even on normal difficulty, and that also encourages you to revisit earlier levels to gain more money to buy new items, but also to see how much your skills have improved. I remember really struggling the first time I played through Chapter 2, but when I went back to farm some crafting components, I breezed through the level. The completionists out there will be able to plow hours, even days into this game. With collectibles, Alfheim portals and pure platinum awards to obtain, there is a lot to do. Bayonetta gets a welcome reissue on Switch. The game's fluid gameplay and tough as nails difficulty remain firmly intact. There's a nice nod to the ecosystem the game now finds itself on, with some cool costumes based on Nintendo royalty. Otherwise, it's the same game as before. The graphics may not have been improved, but with the game only being 8 years old, they hold up quite well. The frame rate allows for some super smooth action in both docked and handheld mode. If you're a fan of hack and slash games, then this is a must buy. If you even have a passing interest in this genre, then you should seriously consider adding it to your collection. Just be prepared to take some deep breaths and try it again.